the journey into the unseen worlds is assumed by the use of the real vision and universal positioning. It is a real position for you to perceive as opposed to something mental. This is a point in the subtle body between the eyes or at the top of the head. At this center, the real guides begin their concentration and then they go upward into the many levels of life. It is here that the attention is gathered into a single concentration and the imagination sends you forth into the worlds above, releasing the light body, which goes out into the subjective worlds alone. This is not any form of projection or any of the four psychic bodies, but an actuality of the real you. The attention of the real guy is shifted from the objective to the real side, then begins a decided positioning into the other worlds under his control. The physical body is then left in a sleep-like trance. It is as easy to leave the body asleep as when awake. The person lies down and puts their imagination, imaginative attention upon a series of images he wants to occur. He knows when the body is asleep, so he stops out or steps out and becomes positioned on a certain level. If he wants to go into another level, he goes through the same process again. Leaving the body during the sleep state is done in the following manner. First, you lie quietly on the back with the eyes closed and no, or throw your thoughts outward into that world where you wish to be. Then, with the intention to be outside the body, one says the new you, you, you several times until the mind and emotions are calm. You may have never been to where you want to be, that you can mock up what it looks like and put yourself into the center of it. You must have a full perception of what goes on around you such as having the feeling, smell, sight, taste, and hearing of what environments are on the level you wish to be. Make the picture perfect and stay with it. Gradually, you will drop off to sleep, and suddenly you are aware that you are standing in the center of the world to which you have decided. You will that you will find that you can fly in this new world and move around about with ease. The real guide will be with you even though you may not see him. Do not be alarmed about what could happen as you are safe. And to do so, this is simple. Always remember that the basic principle in the next world is that you can change everything in the twinkling of an eye. The ethers of the astral and mental worlds respond swiftly to thought, and so you must be careful of how you think while moving about in these levels. The higher you go, the swifter the vibrations of the thought manifest. Most people do not realize that they are already moving about amongst different areas of the real side of life. Though, through the gentle guidance of the true professional, you are able to visit places that you only thought were imaginary. Once you have the true understanding of all the possibilities that are available, then you will see the ploys that the limited systems have been using on you. Taking a journey with the real guide exposes everything. Of course, there will always be those who are stubborn and want to, to be emotionally attached to something and what they have always known. 
So they will stay stuck with some illusionary invented belief instead of exploring what is so readily within their reach. Here is the opportunity to have real experiences which prove everything to you. And there is no hocus pocus. The real you is a finer vibration of spinning atoms, and since it is not hard to move with this reality, it will stay with you throughout all eternity. The higher you go up towards the great reality, the finer becomes your vibrations, and the less your vibrations will spin. In other words, as you move out of the coarseness of solid matter, into the fineness of reality itself, you become it totally. In its worlds, you're basically a viewpoint, hardly anything more. Seeing and being. So many think that the new is hardly anything more than a static piece of atomic mechanism. Materially, it may seem so, from a scientific observation, but this isn't true. The manner in which the U-tune exists as an individual awareness is through the vibratory rates of the real you. And you can live throughout eternity in this manner, for it is self-perpetuating. It is like the self-winding clock which can never run down. Since you are a miniature of the is, you can get an idea of what the great reality is in this ever nowness. I will leave off here for now so the two of you can digest what has been shared. I can see that Miss Ursha is waiting for you, Duane, said Rebazar. Thank you.